guys, it's Jenna Redfield back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking all about my new updated Notion setup. I have spent the last several months redoing and constantly updating my Notion setup from the last few videos that you've seen on my channel. I really got into August Bradley's system over the last couple months, but also I've been experimenting with some other ones and also just creating my own templates and examples. I love August's system, but some of the things that he tracks I really don't care about, and then there's some other things that I need to track a little bit more in depth. Now, I've been doing a ton of videos as well on this channel about ADHD and how to make your life easier with ADHD, whether it's with products or apps, and I wanted to do kind of a combo Notion ADHD video because those are the two most common things I talk about and I haven't ever done a video on both of them together. So in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through my updated Notion setup, including some of the new things that I've added, as well as all of the different databases that I use. Now, one of the things I've learned over the last several months using Notion is how powerful databases can be, especially with filtered views. Now, I used to have separate databases for everything, and what I've decided to do recently is combine a lot of them. So I only have maybe six or seven total databases, and then I actually just filter views in different pages beyond that. So some of the main databases that I have are my action items, my projects, my clients. I also have things like what I call the brain, as well as my knowledge database. I also have a new database about all the products that I own, including all of my clothes, furniture, everything in my house. I also have a database for food and one for fitness. And that's basically it. There might be a couple other ones, but I've really pared down to just a couple of databases to kind of keep myself organized. I've also recently started using a lot of the uh, relational databases and just figuring out how to tag. And I'm actually starting to get into rollups as well and formulas, which I still don't really know much about but I found some really good templates out there. One of the most recent finds I found was notionthings.com. They have some amazing templates on there and I've utilized a couple of theirs and into my basically my command center as well as how I track food and fitness. So let's just head over to my computer. You can see I have a brand new setup. I now have a standing desk, which has been super helpful. Let me know if you want more videos on that, especially with people with ADHD. I think standing desks are so helpful. I also got something to stand on so I can kind of wobble back and forth and it really helps with keeping me focused. I know some people use things like treadmill think desks, but I, I like this one. I've only been using it, I literally got it yesterday. So I'm still working on it, but so far, love it. So I'm gonna get into how I use Notion now. One of the biggest things I wanna say is if you have ADHD and are trying to figure out Notion, one of the most important things that I find is that you have to have everything on one page or you're gonna forget about it. It's gonna to take too long for you to find and you're gonna get frustrated. So my new command center has a bunch of relational links or linked databases that actually are all on one page. So the most important things that I check um, are all in one page. And if you wanna dig deeper, you can go into that separate actual like page that it's hosted on. But for me, having my command center have almost like snapshots of all the different things I'm doing has been super helpful. Make sure to comment below if you want something explained a little bit more. I'm trying to always come up with new ideas for content. And that's actually another thing I'm gonna be showing you is my content uh, setup. So let's just get started and go over to my Notion board. Okay, so you can see that I've definitely made some big changes over the last several months when it comes to my command center. So the first thing that you'll see when you go here is I actually do have a menu that's actually part of the option to have the multiple copy sync option. So this is actually a new option. If you go here, you can actually create something that is called a, let me find it. It's a uh, synced block. So I saw this in somebody else's video and I thought it was such a good idea. I don't use it a lot, but it's a great way to have specifically links to um, a specific page. All you do is you do the forward slash and then you type in emoji inside of a synced block. Then you would find the emoji that you want and then all you would do is you would make that into a link. So that's the first thing that I have and you can see it's on four other pages. So if you edit anything within there, it will move it to all of those. Then I have my weather, obviously, which is a, a plugin you can get. And then I have my latest Spotify playlist, which is all of my current songs, which I really like having on my main page. Then over on the left-hand side, you will see 
This is part of my new system called the brain, which I actually got from notionthings.com. They have a great template. But what I'm doing is I'm actually being able to track all the things I'm currently consuming. So TV shows, podcasts, YouTube channels, books that I'm reading. It's really what I'm doing currently right now, especially with YouTube channels. These are like some of my favorites that I watch. Um, and then over here I have my content production pipeline. So I haven't filtered specifically, so it's just today. So I don't have anything right now. I, I put in the thing that I was doing, which is recording this video for yesterday. So I have to change that. So I'll have to go over there and do that. So then you move down, I have my action items checklist, which is actually the things I'm supposed to be doing right now that haven't been checked off. Again, it's filtered so that the status is active. The due date is after one week ago and the due date is before one week from now. So I've kind of filtered again, my action items to the things I have to be doing. I so this is what I had before. I've obviously changed a few things, but these are just some quick links to some of the different dashboards that I have. Obviously it's changed a lot. Um, and then down here I've got, you know, my daily life tracker. So it shows like today's date and then I can go in and check off all the things that I'm doing, how much sleep I got, my weight, what I'm eating, which the, it links to the recipe, um, dashboard, uh, via the relational over here. This is a new thing that I've started doing is I'm trying to plan out my meals as well as my workouts and my groceries. Now, all three of these things, as well as the daily life tracker, I found on notionthings.com, which I can link down below. Super helpful. I absolutely love their uh, templates. Probably some of the best I have seen personally. I did have a grocery one already from um, Marie Poulin, so I kind of use that, and I actually changed out some of the icons. I went to one of those icon websites, so some of them have icons. Um, you can see that I have filtered it so that it's only the things that I need to buy. So this is my current grocery list. So when I go on my phone, I can actually have my grocery list right on the home page of my command center. So if I'm shopping this again, ADHD thing, I don't want to have to go search for my grocery list. It's right on the home page. The other thing I have down here, I have my project database. So these are things I'm working on. You can see there's a percentage bar, which I've added, which I haven't updated all of them, but basically that shows me how far along I am. Some of them are like things that are constantly going to be going like my Facebook or email marketing over here. Again, some of this was from the, what was called a habitat from notion things. And they have the idea of quick meetings. I love all of this stuff. It's a scratch space. So I, I just started using that. And then here's another thing you can track your food and calorie intake. This is all like new to me, but I'm really excited to start using it. So that is my new homepage. I also do have my knowledge vault as well, but this is really like the biggest thing. I actually set most of this up in the last week, but I've actually been setting up a lot of it. So I'm going to move down to the next one, which is the meal planning. So again, this was a template from Notion, uh, Notion Things. And what's cool is that you can see in here, I have all of my meals recipes. I don't have pictures for all of them. But if I have like, for example, I just started making these yesterday, mac and cheese air fryer balls. I have the recipe link. Um, I have the ingredients that I need, which again is a relational database over to my grocery list. And then I have, you know, if I have what I need. So this is a great way to plan out. And then I could add that to my meal planning. If I go to the command center, I can actually choose that for today. So if I go down here and click on August 29th, I could add, uh, let's do Mac and cheese air fryer balls, which I am going to have for lunch. So that is something that you can see. So now if you click over here, it's empty, but you'll see that that's where it is. So that I got to figure out how to view that. But anyways, so that's kind of how I do that. So let's go back to the meal planning. Also over here, I do have my grocery items. So that is just everything. And then if you go over here, you can see the shopping list is the things again that are checked. So this is a great system. I really like having this over here as well. All my meals and recipes, meal planning, everything was from notion things, which you can uh, get right here. So that was a free template. And then the other template I really like is called body lab. I recently started using this. What's cool is you can actually add different workouts, nutrition. So they actually can add up calories. It's super helpful. I'm like trying to figure out what all the foods I eat and add up the calories, but that's actually really cool because they can actually roll them up and get almost like monthly summaries or weekly summaries of what you've been eating. So kind of like a, my fitness pal, but on notion, which I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So that's like the 
the biggest, I think, things I haven't really touched upon. Some of the other databases, obviously, I have used already. I'll just show you some examples. So Knowledge Vault is something that I have a ton of different things on. You can view it in different ways. So let me just think of an example. So if I have like a marketing strategy one, you'll see I link to a bunch of things in the production pipeline, but also in the brain, which is more of like the articles, podcasts, uh, YouTube channels, all that stuff. So you'll see that I have a ton of different things that I like to collect things on. So whether that's, let me think of one that I have, you know, mental health. If I have things that I found on Pinterest, I can add them there. There's just a lot of things that I have found, whether that's a relational thing or whether that's just something I want to add notes on. So the Knowledge Vault is great for just gathering information about things. The brain is a little different. It's something that I found again through Notion things. And what I love about it is that it's really just tracking. You can put progress. I added the progress bar, but you can also see like what platform it's on. If it's a show, if it's a you know YouTube video, whatever it is, it's the books that I'm reading. It's basically anything that I'm hoping to do. I can actually see, oh, it's on my Kindle. What category is it in? Where in the knowledge vault is it tagged? What type is it? And what do I actually have to do with it? So there's a ton of information here. I've just kind of merged a ton of my different databases together that I was using before. And you can see that on, again, the homepage, I just filtered this to be current things that I'm doing. So whether it's a TV show I'm watching, a podcast I'm listening to, I can track all of that. I also have a separate entertainment, which is actually, again, just linked databases from the brain. You'll see it also is the brain. So I've got shows I'm watching, YouTubers I'm watching, books I'm reading, podcasts I'm listening to. So there's just so much that I'm able to kind of put, again, all in one database, but then just create a relational with a filter that this is uh, current and the type is TV show. Same exact thing here. It's red, it's current, but it's book. You just have to filter out based off of the tag. Some of the other things I obviously work on is my project database. So these are all the things I'm working on now. And then inside I have, you know, information. So let me just think of an example. Actually, let me just go here. So this is one of my projects. I just relaunched my Instagram online course through here. I was able to set up literally, like if I click into one of these, I have the entire, every single, you know, slideshow. You could literally see, I have every single thing that I teach on mine. This was how I helped plan out my Instagram online course, which you can get at www.masterthegram.com. So if you're struggling with Instagram, this is a great online course. I've spent months preparing this. Literally, this is my outline. Every single one of these has my entire slideshow that I made in Canva. This has been how I've been tracking and planning my online course and it is done. So it is live. Another one that I also recently did was my be your own manager, social media manager masterclass. So I also have all that information. You can see I have literally every single stage. I've organized it with board views. And this is how I literally plan out my content, you guys. I'm not even kidding. This is how I do it. Inside the action zone, this is more of like my daily action items and where they're heading. So for example, plan my YouTube video. That's the one I'm recording right now, as well as record my YouTube video. I am planning to do an office tour soon. I can, you know, decide when I want to do that. You know, you can see the daily summary. I'm actually going to be going through this and kind of updating it, but that's really more of my to do tasks, which I need to get so much better at actually just doing, doing, doing and writing it all down. My other thing that I have is my content creation pipeline. I have done some videos on this. But again, what I do is I have all of my content ideas for whatever the platform is. So if it's Instagram, my blog, whatever it is, and then every time I get the idea, I can post the working on. So right now I'm working on the YouTube video about Notion, which is what I'm doing right now. And then I have my entire posted archive, which is everything I've ever published. So I have that sorted. I have literally all of it sorted by year. So these are all of my, you know, everything from Instagram posts to podcast episodes, everything I've ever done is now inside of Notion. And I'm able to track that and it's just helpful to have. I'm gonna have to blur a lot of this, but I also recently went in and redid all of my client information. So I have the name of the person, their business name, the type of business, first session, I literally went through, it took me like a couple of days to find and track down all of my information, but let me give you an example. So if somebody had um, like an actual form that they filled out, I added that in as well. 
And then I was able to track that, whether or not they are past client, current client. Again, these are all uh, marketing coaching clients. So I can actually also see if I just click on clients, I can see all of my current ones. Again, I'm probably gonna have to blur this out, but yeah. So that's kind of how I do client information. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. This is really the crux of all the things. The only other thing that I recently did was I looked up one called products I own. And this is literally like everything that I own. <laughs> I went in and I took photos of everything and I've sorted it by, you know, what room it's in, what color it is. And then if you actually go into, let me find this. So if it's home and household, I have like a whole beauty and fashion section. So I have like, for example, all of my skincare products so I can know when I'm running out of things. I've photographed all of my outfits and jewelry and clothes that I wear. So I'm able to kind of track, I could track my outfits every day if I wanted to. Literally so many things you can do on Notion. And again, all of these are in the same database called products I own. So you can sort it by room, sort it by color, sort it by type. There's just so many things. So going back to people who are ADHD, some of my biggest tips are simplify the number of databases you have and just learn how to filter the heck out of everything. Have a page that has all the information you need so that you're looking at that every day. Because what happened to me was I would forget to go to certain pages and then not write anything down, right? I'm trying to start to track things. And this way I'm able to have it all on one page. It's filtered. I can always use checklists if I need to check something off. Um, because again, that's easier than anything. I can also just create notes if I need to. This is just something that I have set up for myself. Almost all of this is um, template based. So all it's, almost all of them I either got from August Bradley or from notionthings.com. So you guys can check that out. I should have all the links below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other ADHD notion stuff you want me to walk through and I'll talk to you next time.